Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Astroneer. And last episode, we worked on a moon base, and we've we we actually did pretty good work here. We uh, got a lot done. So uh, just a heads up, it's a nice day here, <laughs> early March, and uh, it's it's actually nice outside. So I opened the window. So if there's any crazy loud noises that happen, I apologize. I generally try to keep my recording area pretty uh, pretty contained and pretty controlled, but it's nice and I want some fresh air, so yeah, just be warned of any weird noises that may or may not happen. So yeah, okay, back to uh, back to the game at hand. I uh, forgot to put these solar panels down earlier, so can I do that? Sweet. <laughs> I love the low grab. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, I haven't went over what I want to do this episode. Well, well, you guys, you guys are gonna find out what I'm gonna do this episode, and and I'm gonna keep you in suspense. When we do it, it's gonna be awesome. I've talked about it before, so if you've been keeping up, you might know what's going on. But uh, if you haven't, well, well, hang out and see, because I got some, uh, I got some fun plans for this episode, and it involves. Um... <laughs> well, you'll just have to see, won't you? So it involves low gravity, apparently. Okay, let's put our battery down. I know I generally don't do the whole suspense thing. I don't plan on keeping you guys in suspense. I plan on doing this pretty early on. Just gotta kind of plan it out. Hmm, how do I want to do it though? I think up here might be wonderful, actually. You know, this this might work out. How does this mountain go? Okay. Yep, I believe. I do believe indeed. This is going to be exactly what we need. All right, that sound that that looks good to me. So I kind of lower this down just here. Okay, we do have our printer. We did get that set up, I remember now. That requires compound, which we do have. Let me put some of this stuff down. Actually, you know what, let's, <laughs> let's put all of it down. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, where? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, I am going to uh, do some Astroneer Cannon. Astro Cannon. Hmm. But I, I kind of would like to do it during the daytime. Hello, Terran. So, yes, we will put this here. And as soon as it becomes day, we will launch ourselves and see if we can get some of that lateral movement like I was talking about. So what I've done is I've found a sideways or I found a mountain that gives us a good incline and I've dug into there. So hopefully if I put the, uh, the dynamite kind of down in the bottom, the force will be pushed out in that direction. So I will go out over there. And if everything goes according to plan, I want to try to avoid going so high as to glitch out like we did before. And I want to avoid going so low as we just Kind of roll across the ground like we did on Terran that one time. So let's go ahead and place this down. It looks like it looks like our time has come. Absolutely. And I have 25% oxygen, so I should probably do this sooner rather than later. Yeah, let me let me let me grab some oxygen so I can at least survive the the launch. And then uh, we will. <laughs> Blast ourselves, I know I would say into the wild blue, but uh, it's more of just the blackness of space. Alright, I want to position this a little bit differently. I kind of... Yes, that's exactly what I want. Alright, so if this works, over the base. Over the base. Okay. <laughs> Astro Cannon in 3, 2, 1. Oh, not quite. 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I get why it, it glitches out now. So once the um, once the dead Astroneer spawns, it, it gets stuck with uh, our existing guy. Okay, we can do this again. We can do it better. There we go. We can do this better. And we'll just have a bunch of floating... <laughs> a bunch of floating corpses. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. That is so terrible. Okay, let's see here. So aluminum. Dynamite. Okay, so I think I need to put a little bit more underneath. And it's night again. Jeez. Days on Baron are short. Oh man, I've made a significant crater here. Significant. Let's uh, let's not go as deep this time. And maybe here, and maybe yeah, there we go. So that way, there's nothing blocking. Okay, hold on. I got this. I got this. Okay, so if I put it here, I will take an explosion to the face. And there's nothing underneath here blocking me, so I should go straight out and maybe maybe up a little bit. Actually, with the way this is lined up, maybe that direction. So uh, yeah, let's let's top up our O2, and hopefully day is coming soon. Let's see here. I feel like maybe I should put two. Yeah, let, yeah, let's do it too. Why not two? Because it'll be fun. And it looks like the sun is coming over the horizon now. Yes. Yes. And my uh, chair fell over. My seat fell over. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I like this. This is fun. All right. All right. Here we go. Rest well, ye. Ye, ye, ye astro dude. Okay, let's. Oh, yeah, I have to get out first. Okay, three, two, one. Dynamite. <laughs> god. Three, two, one. I can't click it. Oh, god. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. So apparently, like, 10 feet off the ground. Oh, you know what? It stops because this guy spawns. If this guy wasn't to spawn... Hmm. I wonder if I can do some weird config edits to see if maybe I can... Now, that would get into, like, the game code, and I don't have any sort of access to that. Man. So, yeah, that, that's why we, uh, that's why we're glitching out. Well, we figured that out. That's interesting. And there's no real way to control this. It just kind of is what it is. So, okay. Well, now we know that that's a thing. We, we can get about, what, maybe like 100 yards or something. Maybe not that far. There we go. Let's grab our thing on the way down. At least we don't die when we <laughs> when we plummet to the ground like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was fun. We know we can <laughs> launch ourselves. So that's fun, but uh, not quite to the extent that I was hoping. Okay. So now we have a seat. Well, I guess that means now that we need to start working on a vehicle bay. Now I can't quite remember how many out my other one was in my other base. So let's grab some resin. Let's grab let's grab our stuff again. So yeah, that was the plan for this episode to get started at least. Now let's go ahead and make a secondary plan, a, a, a follow-up plan, I guess. Well, I guess maybe grabbing the beacon there so we don't get lost would be important as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so secondary plan. We should, yeah, do exactly what I was talking about and uh, get a vehicle base situated. I think going out this direction is probably going to be better. Could uh, do a quick little scout out this direction. I mean, there's all the ladder right here, which we will <laughs> absolutely make use of. And do we have a cave here? Is that is that a thing that I'm seeing now? Ooh. Maybe we'll go spelunking. Okay, I, I have to find out. Are these the spiky guys? I think they're the spiky guys. Just please don't kill me the first go. Oh god, it is. Okay, okay. Okay, well, lesson learned, right? <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh yeah, they drop seeds, don't they? And... God, 
Okay, so if we put these on the side, they will grow there on that side, and we can just walk on this side. Okay, those didn't make anything. Okay, oh, we're getting resin down here, that's good. All these guys, you can all spike yourselves. I wonder if you can put them on the roof. These guys don't drop seeds, do they? I don't think they do. It's just the big ones, the fully matured ones. You know, if there's ever any like hostile mobs in the game, these things will be great if they react. Think like cactus in Minecraft. Oh man, look at that. You can stick them to the roof. Now as long as they don't spike me on the way through, that'd be great. Okay, there's a little bit of power there. Let's, let's grab that. Let's grab this resin since we're here. And I need to get the, uh, get my O2. So let's, uh, ooh, it's kind of crazy through here. Head back to the base so we can get some, uh, some O2 going. Um, uh, there, okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's on the to-do list. Okay, I got a little sidetracked there. It happens. So here's a question. Are there storms on Baron? I have not seen one yet. And once again, I, I don't think it would make sense that there would be any storms on Baron. I could be wrong. But uh, also, I was wrong about the atmosphere here, because even though it hasn't been really moving, there was... Yeah, see? There's... Well, okay. You don't want to cooperate. <laughs> I mean, there, there is some sort of movement or else this wind turbine wouldn't be turning, right? Maybe it's a glitch, maybe not. Who knows? So let's put that back down. Okay, so let's let's focus on getting a vehicle bay. Um, I think maybe two more extensions out on each side. I'm just gonna put two on this side and then I'll, I'll even it up at a later time on the other side. Um, what's my resin situation? Low. Very low. Looks like I might need to head back and take all this titanium back with me and maybe shoot up the uh, trade platform. Hmm. That sounds like maybe a plan. How many do I have? Four there. And a three. Oh, I have four now. It's backpack spots. Back pack openings is what I'm trying to talk about. The things that I'm thinking of that are not coming out of my mouth properly. Okay. Yeah, let's uh let's go grab some uh some stuff. Resin. Oh bye bye guy. Poor little astro dude. This is working out nicely. All right. Ooh, right there. We got lucky. All right, risen. Risen, risen. Yeah, I'm just making sure there's none, like, right here. I think there's probably some in the area here, too, but, um... Remember when we landed, we have a lot of extra resources. So maybe... Maybe we'll spend a little bit of time back here on Terran. Getting some, uh... Risen. Okay, I probably shouldn't just throw those all up there. Okay, so four. Still give me four. That'll give me eight. And if I do half, that'll give me four. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And then when that comes back, we'll, we'll toss up the uh, the additional remaining titanium. Now, the other thing is um, I should probably go ahead and try to top up the, the ship since we're here, because it is half full. Or half empty, depending on how you look at it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going to sit here <clears throat> excuse me, and watch 
the thing. Okay, so there's gonna be some compound there. There's hydrazine over there, which I guess I could just dig that up. You know, we didn't really explore a whole lot kind of in the vicinity. I mean, there's just so many different materials in the area. We didn't really need to. Oh, I hear the tree platform coming back. Oh, there's a hole there. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay. All right, just kind of scouting out the area again. I don't remember exactly what was in the area. We should have plenty of compound that just was returned to us. And we will send it up again with the remaining titanium. I may need titanium for other things later on, but I uh, can't really recall, and it's not important. Super right now. Super important. I said that backwards. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what about... What about... Storage. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. It would be awesome if there's some sort of easier way to transfer everything from point A to point B. But the game's still early. There may be there may be an option later on. Okay, whoops. Uh, oh yeah, I guess that was open. Maybe we could take a winch up with us. Because it might be handy to carry things around. I know we don't have a rover or anything just yet, but if uh, there's something like a rock or something we need to move, we can just uh, use that. I mean, I guess I could print one, but... And I also guess that I could take an additional battery with me. Are there any additional solar panels? Oh wait, look, I <laughs> I built a battery earlier and I didn't take it with me, so so maybe maybe I'll just leave this here. Take this one last one with me. I think unless for some reason there's there's any sort of issues or anything, I may go ahead and make the moon base my main base. Okay, let's uh do this again. What about Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Those dings are lined up in just such a way, such a way, if I can speak with my lips. <laughs> it was making a funny sound in my headphones. Okay, we have one more dual slot open. Too bad I can't <laughs> shove a rover on there, right? Okay, what else, what else, what else? Well, there is aluminum. We have two... Here. Hmm. Maybe I should take a full thing of hydrazine. Actually, that sounds like a plan. Indeed, that sounds like a plan. And then we will have some extra when, uh... If we have to come back, we'll know that we have some here on Terran. Yeah, that works. Okay. Slowly walking. Okay, so plenty of resin, some extra fuel, a battery, and a winch. I think that might be fine. Can we just like pick the truck up and put it on top? Maybe duct tape it down? That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, and I realized, I realized that I didn't refuel my ship. That could have been bad. But thankfully we have the additional stuff over here. And I realize that I'm not getting power, but that's because I've taken practically all the batteries and all the solar things. So let's put this uh, turbine back down on the base somewhere. There we go. Alright, we're going to refuel and then head back to Baron. And I should also do a quick count. Let's see here. So, one, two, three, four. So a total of four and then... Yeah, is that right? One, two, three, four, and a total of the, the, the fifth one would be the vehicle bay platform. So that's how I had this one. That's how I'd like to build the one on Baron as well. All right. 
so far so good. I think uh, I think we are good to go. Three, two, one, lunch. <laughs> yes, a sandwich. Maybe a salad. Or cold pizza, depending. out momentarily just gonna hang out and watch the eclipse or whatever <laughs> that dude is still floating there Get you anything? Need some water. Sandwich, maybe. Pastrami on her eye. The Reuben. Philly cheese stick. Okay. I'm, I'm continuing with the lunch joke earlier and it's failing miserably, so I think I'm going to move on. <laughs> oh, man. I know I'm ridiculous. I live in my body. Okay, let's move this over. Oop, yep. So the hydrazine. I want to keep with the... I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt just to move it over. But I'm running out of spaces. But uh, we're going to build out our base a little bit more now that we have resin. So battery and a winch. I'm going to leave the winch there until we need... Until otherwise needed. So, what's up with my backpack? So, four spaces. So, one, two, three. So, four. And the fifth one would be the vehicle bay. Yep, I mean, it's right there beside this ladder right here, but I'll dig that up momentarily. So, copper. I think we have copper. I think we have copper. I think we have copper. Copper, copper. Sweet. No, 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 no. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, you guys probably saw that. I I got ahead of myself, it seems. But well, now I have two printers. <laughs> I have two printers. No. No, I only have one printer. I haven't printed, I haven't created this printer yet. Well, darn. Well, darn. Okay, well, I don't want to really create my thing over here. Vehicle bay. So let's uh, do something funky and put it here. This is going to mess up the symmetry of my base, but it'll be fine. That was my fault. That's what I get. So let's maybe do two out this way. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. No, that's not lined up either. Okay, so vehicle bay, please. Aluminum now, okay. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. See, I tend to get ahead of myself, and it drives me nuts when I do. What's over here? Oh yeah, compound, laterite, crazy planets that aren't rendered properly. Some more unknown research. Even more unknown research. Another cave. And titanium. Oh gosh. <laughs> that just spawned in. That looks like titanium over there. We'll figure it out. And it looks like a crater here. 
small crater. But wait, is there something in the bottom? Oh no, I was just seeing that square there. Okay. <laughs> we. Okay. Oh, there's resin right here. Why did I not see that before? We will pull that up shortly. I think I'm going to flatten this out just a hair because it needs it. It's not quite the way I wanted to flatten it, but. And it's still going down. I'm trying to get it to go more of an angle. Yeah, if I can just smooth this out, I'll be fine. Yeah, I can get over that. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe this little bump here. Yeah, we can, we can navigate through that. All right. So, was it for aluminum? Yes. Good thing we all have all this ladder right near us. Good thing we planned for all this, huh? I have to say, ladder is probably one of the most useful things. Or I guess one of the more needed things as you get kind of later in the game like this. Because titanium, I could be wrong, I think it's used on the tank and I think you use it for what, the drill head or something like that? There's only two things you need it for. And then you're like done with titanium. Uh, nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, and then storage. Once I get power here. Yes, please. Compound. Four compound. I don't think I have that. But I did see some compound down the way a little bit. Maybe I have that. I have I see three. Is that am I literally just one short? I believe I am. Do I have any on the ship by chance? Don't think I do, and it's fine, because there's some compound just down the way here. I love that I can just jump over my base. Hello, compound. And hello, Terran, in the background. That's so awesome looking. I love that. <laughs> That was quick. A very rich vein of... Oh wait, did I? Oh no, I already had some on my backpack. That's what it was. Okay, that's fine. Let's put this down so I can actually get around. Okay. We can make storage. Now we just have to figure out our power situation. Which I think... I want to do solar up here because I don't know what the wind situation is here on Baron that's still kind of up in the air. Hey, <laughs> if you get that. Oh, it kill me. Oh, man. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, man. Okay. So, solar, please. Compound, I need to go back to where I was. I could just very easily drive my truck over there. Not that it's necessary. Ooh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's that whole low graph thing. So, the, the truck is already really awkward to drive. Plus, uh, low graph. This is going to be kind of ridiculous. We have to be very careful. And also, the horizon is very, very steep, I guess, if you want to call it that. The, uh, the size of the moon is much, much smaller than the size of Terran. So, it's going to be much easier lose track of where we are. I think I got all of the uh, compound there. I think I did, yes. So I'm going to have to be very careful with my beacons, or very diligent with my beacons. Ooh, full speed is going to be tough to deal with. Okay. Let's take our ladder ride back. We don't have a smeltery just yet. So that's probably what I should put over on this other side. But I need to make some solar panels. That requires compound. So let's make a solar panel first. And that should, yeah, okay, that should be 
plenty, actually. Then let's make our smeltery. Okay. Multitasking. Alright, so we should now have power on the truck when it's daytime. <laughs> Alright, so I want to take two storage units with me, so that will leave me two storage units and two slots, actually I have technically four slots open for unknown research, if you count the front and the back. I don't think that I'm going to do a trailer up here because of the way the gravity and everything is, so we're going to be slightly limited, but it'll be fine. And limited in space, I mean, because we won't have that entire additional trailer. Okay. Is there anything else I need? I, I'm going to go out adventuring here soon. But, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that for next episode. So, yeah, definitely. Next episode, we are going to go out adventuring on the truck. Because now we have it. And we got some low grab stuff we can play with. So this is, <laughs> is going to be fun. I'm going to end up in a very bad situation, I get the feeling. So guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. As always, leave leave something down in the comments below. Let me know you're enjoying this, or if you have any questions or comments, you know, I love hearing from you guys. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.